Well, hello everyone. This is Ron and I'm back with you with another episode of Empire Coins and Collectibles. I've been gone for a while. I had to go on a business trip and of course, even though I was out on business, I took care of business. I visited a local coin shop over in Phoenix. Flagstep, I think it was. Uh, I'll share more of that with you in a later episode. But today, what I have for you is I've been going through some roll searches that I bought. I bought uh, several different types of rolls of Lincoln since. Uh, there's been the 1960 rolls, there's been the 1968 rolls, I have some 1969s, but today we're going to look at some of the finds that I've made in the 1968S Lincoln since. And these coins are beautiful, deep red. Uh, of course, uh, I guess in the bags they've had some scuffing, but a lot of them are just pristine. But before we go there and show these coins to you, if you could, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm going to change the camera view, and then I'm going to turn the light on so we can get a better focus. Okay, you should be looking at it. And yes, those are all brilliant, uncirculated, 1968S Lincoln scents. And they are gorgeous. I'll just hold one of them up here for you. I am so sorry I'm not wearing my gloves, but I will handle it very carefully. Look at how gorgeous that coin is. And of course, we've got to get it to focus. And at some point, I'm going to be going back out and buying a camera. I know you guys don't believe me because I keep saying that, but I will, uh, perhaps over spring break, that might be a good time to go do that. But this coin is a beautiful, uncirculated, can we get it to Focus here. Come on, focus for us. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Yes, and all these coins were brilliant, uncirculated 1968S. And one would think, okay, they're coming out of a roll, and it looked like it was an original bank roll. These cannot uh, have anything but goodness on them. Well, there's some scuff marks, uh, as you would expect, coming out of the mint as they shuffle these coins around and then put them up to be rolled and distributed, either in rolls or bags. But in any case, it is a gorgeous coin. So this was one of the uh, rolls that I pulled it out of. I had other paper rolls, but I've discovered a lot of things that I have questions about, and I'm hopeful that you can help me with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you this one here under the coin microscope. And I'll let you read what I wrote about it. Striations from one into nine on year. So we're gonna to change to the coin microscope and we're gonna take a look at that. And you tell me what it is, what you think it is. How does this occur? Now, actually, I'm gonna turn this light down a bit and see if we can turn it around. But if you look between the nine and the one, you see these striations. And unfortunately, the lighting is not doing this much good. It's very striking in normal light. And you can kind of see it. There's a, lines erupting from the lower part of the one over into the nine. And if you look at that, right there and they go over into the lower part of the nine they just miss that hook of the nine so what is that you know i'd like to say maybe it's polish lines but they're so straight and they're like radiating away from the the one into the nine it's it's a mystery to me what do you guys think let's get a little lower see if we can bring them into a little bit better focus what do you think causes that? Oh, yeah, look at that. What do you think causes that? I am not sure, but it's very striking to see these lines, and they're as straight as straight can be, but they're going at different angles, erupting out of the lower part of the one into the nine. So, yes, I mean, that came out of an uncirculated roll of 1968s since and as a matter of fact you you wonder maybe it's a it's a die clash but i can look on the on the back of that coin and it doesn't seem like there's anything in that pattern design that would show that but look up here you see those lines right there all the way up there let me lower this down a little bit so yes it's coming out of the 
one into the nine, but look there. So was the die gouged as it was polished? I, I, you know, if it were in the clear field up here, I would say maybe. But how does it get there right between the one and the nine? And the one is not marked up. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, we're going to come back. And let me show you another one that's kind of interesting. Now, this one has polished lines from the T in states and from the P in E pluribus unum. So look at this. Now, certainly, this looks like polished lines. Now, one would say, Ron, that's somebody cleaning that coin. That's, a, that's coin damage post mint, right? You would say that. Look where that starts. It starts right almost in the middle of the T, and it starts on the edge of the P. And you can see others over here in the in the field, but they're very striking, very pronounced from the bottom of the T downward and from the bottom of the P downward. There you go. Very strong, isn't it? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another one. Here's another one. I'm going to pull this one out right there and put this one in its place. Whoops, let me flip it over. This is a different coin. And look at the T and the P. Now, what does that tell you? Two coins look exactly alike in terms of the unique error variety. That says it's embedded in the die. Right here, not quite in the center of the T down and on the edge of the P. And I'm going to put this one right next to it and slide it back over. Here it comes. And look there. Right in the center of the P, a T, and on the edge of the P. So most certainly these coins were struck shortly after one another on the same die. Isn't that wonderful? All right, my friends. I'm going to save the rest of this for another episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Those unique coins are out there, the varieties, the errors. All you have to do is look for them. You take care, and until the next episode, all the best. Mm -hmm.